The Prince of Wales has bonded with Mike Tyndall because the former rugby player allows him to vicariously enjoy the fun activities that are now off-limits to him as future king, a royal expert has claimed. Prince William, 41, and former England rugby star, Mike, 45, are known to have a close relationship, perhaps especially since Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's move to the U.S. From casting off royal protocol to pull William in for a hug, to joking that he calls his wife's cousin one pint Willie because he is not the best of drinkers, it's clear Mike has cut through the royal stuffiness and the heir to the throne loves it. Speaking to The Telegraph, royal biographer Ingrid Seward, editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, said, Mike Tyndall has that kind of sportsman camaraderie that would especially appeal to William, who was once a wild boy himself. She added, Mike gets funnier under the influence of alcohol and can be totally outrageous. William cannot do this anymore as he is too aware of his responsibilities. But he can live vicariously through Mike. During his younger years, the Prince of Wales was no stranger to partying. After graduating university in his early 20s, the young royal was often seen stumbling out of West London nightclubs including Bogies, Mahiki and Bunga Bunga. Now, as king-in-waiting, different rules apply and in recent times, William has been the epitome of prim and proper, and on the surface it might not seem like they have much in common. William, heir to the throne and son of the Prince of Wales, was educated at Marlborough before completing his degree at St. Andrews. He also prefers football to rugby, which was very much his brother Harry's sport. Meanwhile Banker's son Tyndall attended Queen Elizabeth Grammar School, in Wakefield, West Yorkshire, becoming a professional rugby player for Bath at the age of 18. Tyndall is also more hard-living than his wife's cousin. He has two drunk driving convictions and was once thrown out of the England squad after a night of wild partying in New Zealand. Even a whisper of such antics would be enough to cause serious trouble for the future king. Yet the pair are also hands-on fathers and enjoy catching up at the polo or the races, where they often give each other warm greetings. They have also been with their wives for almost 20 years. Tyndall was 25 when he and Zara were introduced at the 2003 World Cup. William and Kate met at university, and each have three children under the age of eight, who get along famously. The bond between their children was evident on Christmas Day when Prince Louis held hands with his older cousin Mia on the way into church, while Charlotte was also spotted chattering away to her. Meanwhile, Mike took on the role of fun uncle, playfully slinging an arm around Prince George's neck as they made their way into church. At the heart of William and Mike's friendship is William's bond with his cousin Zara. He and Harry were raised in Gloucestershire, just a few miles from where Zara and her brother Peter Phillips grew up. The four royal cousins were often spotted chatting and joking at royal events with William previously revealing how it was hard to keep a straight face when sitting opposite his cousins in church.
The bond between cousins is particularly close for members of the royal family, who might struggle to let outsiders into their inner circle. Such is the closeness between the cousins that they are all part of a WhatsApp group where they exchange messages on upcoming events and family news. Me, my brother and then a few of Zara's side like her brother Pete, Phillips, and the cousins are on WhatsApp groups, Mike once revealed. I wouldn't say we're cutting edge, but it's just easier for some reason on WhatsApp. He added on a separate occasion. It's just what you do to try and set up get-togethers and we are going to something that is the same. If you are going to go, we discuss things like, are you going to take the kids? Quite a lot of people have family WhatsApp groups. William and Mike have been photographed looking pally at several public engagements, with the ex-England rugby player going along to support the Royal at polo matches in the past. They have also been willing to get stuck in with the other's children. Mike has been snapped carrying Prince George, 10, on his shoulders, while William gave Mia, 9, a ride. Zara and Mike also share Lena, 5, and Lucas, 2, while William and Kate are parents to Charlotte, 7, and Louis, 4. Mia and George appear to get on particularly well and have been seen playing together at royal events. Little Miss Tyndall also tried to catch George and Charlotte's eye when the Cambridge children arrived at the Duke of Edinburgh's service of Thanksgiving. Although Zara and Mike have remained tight-lipped on Megxit, their display with William yesterday suggests they have been a pillar of support for him and Kate in the wake of the royal family shake-up. One royal commentator noted Zara has been a pillar of support for William. William is quite serious by nature, he's actually quite shy. Zara is sort of the comedy cousin that you can turn to where she takes the pressure off everything, Victoria Arbiter said in Channel 5 documentary, Zara Ann like mother like daughter. That friendship is so authentic, there are dozens of photos of William and Zara together over the years, laughing and joking. There's a time when Prince William was holding an umbrella over Zara, he's protecting her from the rain. I think he feels very protective towards her and she feels equally protective of him. She continued. For William in particular, trust is everything so when you've got a cousin that understands what it is to be a member of the royal family, but they don't have the same pressures associated with it, they can be a tower of strength and support. It's Zara's loyalty and total dedication to her family that has made her such an asset to the cousins that have had to endure the negative side of royal life. 